Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well I'm just chewing a gum that's biodegradable. First time I heard in my life. It's a, this is a Swedish brand. I just need to mention it because I got I was a little bit shocked. It says a plastic free gum. True gum. Biodegradable. I think I said it right in English. The taste is good. It looks also interesting. You can see it. I won't spit it out. I just had to try it because I got it in my, one of my subscription boxes. I don't remember which one. Months ago. And I haven't had a chance to try it. Or I just say I forgot, I forgot about it. And I had to right now when I was sitting here. Um, they, it's a Swedish brand but it's made in Copenhagen, Denmark. Okay, let's put it up. Hate when people chew gum and talk. Okay, welcome. Sorry guys, it was just something new. I'm here today to try new products. I'm here today to try some products that have been out for a while and also some new releases. Some hyped up makeup and some makeup that and a makeup that I've been having in my drawers that I got in my boxes or I bought them in on a sale or I got something from a friend or I don't remember. There are a lot of products here that I haven't had a chance to try. So I'm here today to do so and let's start. The first thing I want to start before I do anything else on my make on my face is actually try this. This is a chill mood soothing soothing cannabis seed oil infused eye gel patches and it's from pathological mood patch. I don't know what the brand if it's the right brand. But this sounds to be a very interesting product. It says formula, formulated with natural tea leaves. Uh, leaves and cannabis seed oil for soothing, smoothing and looking like a smoke show. <laughs> no smoking required. That's good. <laughs> uh, it says clean on the dry under eye area for 10 minutes. So I'm going to do that while I do my face or eye makeup. So I am going to do and clean my face with my tonic, gentle facial toner. And I also got this in one of my subscription boxes. This is anti-aging raspberry marsh marshmallow uh, from No Bay. And I really like I like this brand and I like this toner. Actually, I have to be honest, I'm almost out. But trust me, I have so many toners and so many products that I need to go through. And a new product that also is not a makeup that I bought just because I just fell in love with it. It's, I was looking on Beauty Bay to buy a palette that I'm going to show you today. But I saw this. This is the Revolution, Revolution, what it's called, headband. Look how beautiful it is. Galastic headband. It's so beautiful. I had had to buy it. Look how cute it is. How could you how can you say no to this? Let's oh sorry guys let's put my hair back. Sometimes I hit my hair I'm going to color it and clean it. I'm going, I'm going to color it on Tuesday. Oh that's cute. So cute I love it. I love it. I don't know if you can see, but it's so beautiful. Love it. Let's continue. That's a goodbye. Let's turn that way. Okay, let's open these. So, I'm very excited because me and my friend are going to, my best friend Valerie, we are going to do a box swap soon and I'm so excited. This is how this looks. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, what side is up? Oh, okay. I get it. If you can see, okay, okay, take out this first thing. I never know which side goes where. Does this pointy side go here or does it go? You see what I'm talking about? I was just searching on Google for eye patches to see what size to put where, and then if you can see, some of them have the pointier side there, and some of them have it here. So 
What do I do? Well, let's have the pointier side in the corners. That's what we are going to do. Ooh, this is so jelly, 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 jelly. Uh, um, okay, okay, okay. I don't know what side is going where, but... Oh. Oh, this feels good. Uh, I'm going to do these kind of videos plenty of times because I have plenty of products that I haven't even had a chance to try, but also I'm excited to try. So I'm going to mix new and old products that I haven't tried, but also products that are available. The primer. So today we are going to use this primer. This is the Ofra. Ofra Cosmetics Eyeshadow Primer and it's one of the primers that I'm going to review or I'm reviewing on my channel soon. I thought that I would have that video up uh, this week or next this week but it's not coming up. I think it's going to be now in February that video. So if you want to see me trying new eyeshadows, eyeshadow primers, plenty of eyeshadow primers and review them and say what I think about it then subscribe. I already did a review of this palette. This is the Pat McGrath uh, palette. Celestial Divinity, I think it's called. I really want to use this shade here. Yeah, this one looks, or do, should we use? No, this one. Yes, we're going to use this one. So I am going to use a fluffy brush for the crease. And this is a NYX brush that I got from a friend Valerie 100 years ago in one of the box swaps. I love this brush. Me and Valerie love doing box swap and we do that two times a year. Once in uh, March when it's her birthday and one in September when it's my birthday. I have very hooded eyes and always when I put shade in the crease it looks nice but when I finish the look I see that you can't really see my crease anymore or I could go higher up so today I am going to go all in I'm not going anywhere <laughs> where should we go now but I do want to have a more I like colorful eyeshadow looks and I love dramatic looks I'm not really a um, nude girl Sometimes I do like to have natural makeup looks, but that's not often, especially not at work. I'm going to go in the next matte shade here that we have. They only have three matte shades in this palette. It's not burnt. Oh, this is good to have these kind of patches on the eyes because it catches fallout. <laughs> Never thought about that, but I just realized. So good. You will we'll get some fallout from this palette but look at this pigmentation. I don't know if you tried anything from Pat McGrath. It's very expensive. Look how beautiful this is. Blends like a dream and we are going to go back in with the brush that we had for the crease and just blend the edges. Now guys let's go a bit more above you see when I look straight you can't really see that dark shade so let's go higher up with that shade. Um, I'm going to talk a lot in this video. This video is going to be long. So take your coffee and tea and spend some time with me. Let's chat. Okay, so I'm going to use my fingers because I love using my fingers with shimmery shades. Uh, it gives me more of that metallic look but also less fallout. And sometimes it's a problem with nails but I don't care. So we're going to go in that green shade. I know what it's called. Maybe a fuchsia shock. For me, it's hard to see what size, where do you start? Is it just like it is in here, maybe? This is fuchsia shock. Could be. It says bronze here. So it can't be that. Gold. Okay, so it says gold. So it's this one that's on this side, it's gold. So this one is called Megabyte. Megabyte, that's what it's called. See? Oh, that's a beautiful shade. Did I use this yesterday? No, I don't think so. Oh, look at that. And it does give me some fallout. I'm going to use this shade, and I think it's called Luna Champagne. 
with a smaller brush see if we can pick up just to go into yes 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 look at that I really do want to go back in with this palette brush and just clean here a little bit mess that we did and I want to go in with this this is like a topper that came busted a little bit but it's just just a little bit this side was busted just one side of this pan but doesn't bother me let's see if we can put it in the center oh yeah look at that I know how for how long I've been having these patches on but I am going to remove them oh, it feels so nice so so nice I'm going to moisturize my skin using this biotherm 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 blue therapy face cream I love this one it's much it's thick it's moisturizing okay so I am going to use a new face primer fit new for me I think I've seen this I've got a couple of these products or from this brand this is the fix and rouge satin soft blurring primer and finish and finishing fix ultra prime uh, blurring primer satin finish and blurring primer fixed foundation and fixed complexion for complete matte perfection and I got a couple of products from this band before and I really like them I think I also sent some of them to my friend Valerie because I do really like this brand but I haven't tried this one and I think I got it in my glossy box maybe advanced calendar I'm not really sure but I'm going to use this one and on the other just on a half of the face because I am going to review a new foundation which is totally wrong shade but we'll go there but on the one side I'm going to use this on the second side on the other side I'm going to use the perfect prime because I want to review this foundation and I really want to try this primer too so to see if the if the foundation works or and the primer I need to use different products on half on half of the face so I'm I'm going to let this sink into the skin just a couple more seconds but before we continue I am going to try the Manakadar Lippy Love Lip Scrub now I got this also in one of my subscription boxes uh, two months ago I think or was it in December I'm not really sure and it looks like this doesn't have any scent is this a lip scrub lip scrub it's a lip scrub okay okay it feels like a lip balm I don't know if I can feel yeah tiny tiny oh, like sand cones but it's it's more like a balm than a scrub I want my lip scrubs to be more you know have more green to it so it actually removes that skin this feels more like a balm it, I'll continue to use it but it just it is soft my lips are soft really soft okay first I said no but I need to use it a little bit more but it doesn't you know it doesn't remove and it's not that hard lip scrub it's more like a balm let's just say that but I'm going to use it and tell you uh, how I feel about it later now let's go to the primers let's use this this prime on one side oh it smells nice oh oh it's pinkish hey <laughs> that's nice that's cute good to use it on this side of the face oh I applied a little bit too much okay a little bit too much oh it feels very cooling uh, it has like a gel texture it feels very very cooling on the skin I have to say I can't really see that it blurs but we'll see how it's going to look after applying the foundation let's go in with Kaya Cosmetics this one I like it kind of reminds me also it's like a gel it kind of reminds me of uh, uh, what it's called the milk but not really like a milk gripping primer it's not really the same but it does keep my makeup in place oh, this one also feels they feel the same I have to be honest this one feels more tacky more like uh, that milk cosmetic gripping primer but it does dry 
uh, down. Okay, oh, they feel cooling, both, both of them feel cooling. I like this Sky Cosmetics primer. Well, now it, when it dry down, I can't see that it blurs, blurred and it's, I can't feel it on the skin. This one is the same. I like it. Okay, let's go and use under my eyes. I'm going to go in with the Becca under eye primer. That's, I need to repurchase this one too. Let's go in with the foundation. Now today we are going to review, wait for it, the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. <laughs> I bought the shade, oh my god, the shades are, the websites sometimes are so bad and shade swatches are so bad on the websites and when you look at those compare foundation sites, no. I bought it in 208 buff. It's too dark. Oh my god, this is too dark. But, okay, we are going to use it today because I'm not going to repurchase another one. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if you can see it. It looks very wet. Um, I haven't even touched it because I wanted to show it for you guys. But it looks to be a little bit too dark. So I also am going to use this Isadora Camouflage Concealer. I don't remember. I know I reviewed it, but I don't remember what I like about it. And it's huge, so I am I like Isadora's product, so I'm going to use this one today, and it's a little bit lighter, so maybe we can fix it. But this is what I'm going to use today. This is new, and it does have this puff that we are going to use today. Let's just let's swatch it. Feels oh my god, it feels well. It is a little bit too dark, but it's not as terrible as I thought. But it feels very very oily. It has like an oil filter on top. I know you can see, can you see how wet it is? Oh my god. Okay. It looks to be like a light coverage. It looks to be a nice shade though. Maybe I didn't do a too terrible job. Let's see if we can read more about this foundation. It looks to be very oily. Why did I buy this? I have oily skin. What I was, th what, what I was thinking about. It's $10.99. Blend in standout Milani Conceal and Perfect Soothe Finishing Cream to Powder Foundation is back and better than ever. This must have complexion perfects, glides on as a cream and mag magically morphs into a buildable full coverage, a light diffused. Uh, light diffused powder foundation with a soft matte camera ready finish made with lilac and bamboo extract to control oil and shine up to 16 hours. This feels like oil. Okay. The long wear formula is sweat proof and waterproof to keep skin on point whatever the old, the old day takes you. Antioxidant rich with vitamin E and continues. It uh, is available in 22 skin perfect shades. Now I remember, I read about it and it sounded amazing, I bought it, it was long ago. I purchased it on Beauty Bay and right now it takes me too long to get my stuff. Oh, this is hurting a little bit, it's too tight on my head, but... Okay, let's just go in. It took me a while to receive this product. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Let's go with my mirror. I do use, I love this shade, so I do use this mirror. Oh. God. Okay, the shade is not. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's crumbly. Is it a primer? Maybe it's because the primer is under it like that. Let's try to stamp it and not. Let's press it because if I start pulling, it removes my concealer under it and it. Gather, so we are going to press it instead with this puff. Okay, it looks nice. I have to be honest, guys. And this is the Kai Cosmetics primer under it. So I know I can't... I need to press it into the skin. I can't rub because it removes the primer under it. Well, this... <sighs> the color is perfect. What was talking about? It looked so dark in the pan, guys. It looked very dark in the pan, but I did an amazing job. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see it. Oh. it 
Uh, definitely wrong primer on this side. Doesn't do that when I press, but when I pull, if I pull slightly, it will remove. Let's just say this primer and this foundation don't like each other. Let's go on this side and see how this is going to work. I don't like this puff. It doesn't go on as smooth as it did on this side as it did on the other side. Can I? Yeah, well, no, 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 no. It doesn't like gel. It doesn't like gel uh, primers. And this looks to have like an oil in it, so gel and oils, well, they don't work together fine. But we are going to go, go now. I'm not going to remove it. I usually use my concealers uh, on top of my foundation, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to, uh, how my concealer is going to go on top of this foundation because this is cream but it'll dry down to a powder and I don't like using cream concealers on top of the powder foundations doesn't work well oh my god and if you can see, can you see this can you see what it does with my concealer not concealer why do I continue to say concealer the primer my hairband it hurts because it kind of oh, need to move it forward because it hurts over there this part presses, it's pressed too hard against my head and it hurts. It definitely looks better on the side where I had the Kaya Cosmetics primer than it does on top of this primer. Uh, it looks to be... No, it doesn't look good at all. And here on the... Oh my god. No, guys. I can't. I can't. I need to remove this. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to remove this because I can't try foundation and use these primers because just it doesn't work together. Let's see what primer can we use. I'm going to use my Smashbox instead of this because this foundation and this primer doesn't go together. So I'm going to remove everything all makeup and I don't usually use anymore the uh, the makeup wipes but I'm going to do that today I'm desperate to remove this I want to review this foundation it looks nicer on the side but I can't go past this so if we are going to give it a good chance we need to start over this primer I'll try with different foundation and I will let you know later in another video. I'm going to kind of go through this, uh, apply this very fast. It looks very nice with this primer. It looks really, really nice. It looks better on the nose. Now, the only thing I have it I don't like this puff though I don't like it but I didn't want to go in and try with a beauty blender because I was afraid to mess it up again and right now it looks very very nice so I am going to go and um, with the concealer and okay sorry guys while I was applying my concealer I didn't realize that my camera stopped filming because my card was full so I had to upload the images to my computer and uh, I'm here, I'm back. I've been having this on for 40 minutes. And it. I have to say, first of all, concealer went on beautifully, blended beautifully. But right now it creased and you can see my lines under my eyes a lot because I didn't set it and I didn't want to set it because I wanted to show you guys how my foundation looks. And I did go in with this beauty blender and just, it's not too wet, just a little bit wet. And I did tap it all over my skin and it looks amazing, but it did crease. So I do have to set everything. I can hear my son. 
Okay, and I'm going to set the face. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you what I think about this foundation. It looks flawless. Now it works with the soft focus. Uh, this prim what's primal riser primalizer from Smashbox. That one works beautifully. It does also makes my pore less visible. Looks nice. Still can see some of my pores a little bit, but it looks really, really nice. I like this foundation right now. It was a disaster in the beginning. Didn't start very well, but it looks very well now. Kind of looks scary if I have to be honest, like cream, but I hope it won't dry out uh, a lot. But let's continue. Now, I do have... Uh, I didn't use a lot of powder here because I want to use this The Nudie Stick nudes this is all over face bronze color contour and multi-use this is in mini sunkissed i got this in my um, sephora box i bought a couple of things from sephora and i got this sample so i am going to use uh, this today and i want to use a brush blending this around i'm going to use uh, this brush from do care and let's use it as um Oh, it's a little bit is it red it looks red oh definitely looks red but let's use it we'll see how it's going to look we're going to use another bronzer too so maybe it looks bad it doesn't look red when you look it like this but i don't know it kind of looks very red on the camera maybe it'll blend nice It blends nice, definitely looks red. So I'll def maybe use it as a blush. It blends very nice. So the product itself is nice, I just the color is not right. So let's go and use another bronzer. Now I got this in my uh, oh, what is it called? It's calendar, advent calendar. My Bronzalicious for makeup, uh, Mecca Makeup. This is a bronzer and I think it says glowy. I'm not into the glowy bronzers and first I didn't want to use this, but then I decided to do so. I decided to use a little bit of bronzer that's glowy. I do have a couple of other bronzers that I haven't tried that are a little bit glowy. Oh, no. This doesn't look to be glowy. It says glowy please on the back but hmm this one also looks to be more red or orange mm, i'm not sure about the color the texture feels nice i'm not sure about the color but you know what we are here so let's just go in this is yes it's try i need to try it's a little bit oh my god it looks so right oh that's that's powdery i'm going to be so red at the end of this video guys it's not blending very nice no at all it doesn't blend at all very nice nope 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 no i don't like it I don't like it's not blending very nice I'm going to go in a little bit with the powder just to tone me down and I'm going to go in with another bronzer I don't like this I'm not going to use it do you know what I forgot to use I forgot to use the milk blur stick oh, I wanted to try this okay well we'll try it in another video okay I'm going to go and use another bronzer because <laughs> And that one didn't work. I'm going to go in with this Soleil chocolate, medium deep. Now I, mm, smells so good. This was on my wish list. Uh, I think this is a dark, deeper shade than I wanted, uh, but it works. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to clean it a little bit. And let's all use a lot of this and make me less red. This I like. Well, we have products that we like and products we don't like. Okay, now, product that I'm most excited about to try today is actually the Moon 
uh, Luna Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. Oh my god, I've been wanting this since the day it launched and it always, and it always was out of stock as soon as it came in stock in uh, on Beauty Bay, it was out of stock. So, I wanted to buy it on Beauty Bay because it was cheaper, um, cheaper, what it's called, uh, shipping than on Luna Beauty site. This is the most beautiful palette I've ever seen. Now it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was, but guys, it's so beautiful. I can't explain the, how it looks. It looks so amazing. He did an amazing job with this palette and I really want to try the eyeshadows too. We have five matte and one shimmery shade. So we are going in. Today we are going in with this. I'm going to use a blush brush and I want to go in with this star glaze. This shade here. Such a beautiful palette. Oh my god. God, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I went with a lot of blush, I know. I love blushes. This These blushes look beautiful. Let's go back to the eyeshadow because I want to finish the look. Uh, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. It's going to go into this darker shade. Oh no, maybe? Should we? Should we? Now, I want to use something else. I want to go in and use this red shade. Let's go with that shimmer shade. Oh my God. Can you see this? And I'm using a brush. Well, that's beautiful. I'm not going to do add anything else because I really like how this looks. Now, I don't have any new product for my eyebrows, so I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. pencil that I got from my friend Valerie. I like this one a lot. Oh, I need to fix my eyebrows. They are growing wild. I'm going to try a liner. And I'm going to try it because many people like it and I'm not a really big eyeliner girl because I have very hooded eyes and I'm terrible doing eyeliner but I want to use this Tartist from or eyeliner from Tarte and uh, it's like this beautiful pencil on one side and the other side is like a tip and I'm going to use the tip today this is the pencil and liquid so we're going to use the liquid one. I'm not going to even try to make a wing because nope. Let's just line the wall or the line here. I messed up a little bit on the other eye because this is a um, it's pigmented, but I felt like I needed to go in. Uh, it does bleed, and you can see a little bit. And I did feel it like it was bleeding on my eyes, and I had to go on over two times. But it's not, it's not too bad. Not bad. I'm going to play more with it and see what I like about it. But uh, do we have other stuff we're going to try? Yes, I do have a liquid, liquid um, highlighter. This is in Emco Beauty highlighter shimmer with champagne and I don't know I got it in one of my subscription boxes and I have I don't remember trying anything else from this brand I don't know if the shade is going to suit me if it's too dark we're going to just top it with another highlighter I mean I usually do like liquid highlighters one of my favorite is from the what is the brand from Pract. Now, this brand doesn't exist anymore, but I still like this highlighter and I do use it off camera. I think the Corona made it a little bit hard for them to. It was an indie brand, so. Okay, uh, to, it looks to be, ooh, very nice shade. Could be, could work. I'm going to use more on my hand. And I'm going to go in with my finger. You know, just go around and let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. I 
know, and I have seen a couple of big YouTubers saying they are not they are not anymore into this, you know, this kind of highlighter. Oh, this is beautiful. I like it. Doesn't look to be a little too dark. What do you think, guys? No, I think it looks fine. But I'm still into these high shine highlighters. We are also going to, I forgot actually to use the glitter glow from Makeup Revolution. I bought this because I don't have any glitter glow, so I'll try it another time. But we do have two more things. We have a mascara. The mascara I'm going to try today is Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume, Volume and Lightning Mascara. I haven't heard anything about this. I don't even know the brand. Let's just go with it. But I'm going to set my face before I continue and I do want to set it with my veal. I want to use up this product. It's nice, but it's not worth the money. I find this packaging very beautiful. Is this black? Ooh, I like the wand. It separates my lashes. It's not too liquidy, liquidy. That's not bad. This is pretty nice. It's like everyday mascara. Not bad at all. It doesn't make them too, you know, dramatic long, but it's a nice mascara. I do like it. I need to put some lashes on. Sorry guys, before we continue, I'm going to put some Demi Whispers. Okay guys, so I did my mess, uh, lashes and I, uh, I forgot to do one thing. I actually forgot to pl place eyebrow gel. If, I, if we go all glam, let's go all glam or nothing at all. And for the lipstick, I am going to use, I have two. Uh, these I got, I think, last year, but I never got around to try them. This is an Essence Color Boost. I have been mad about, mad about matte liquid lipstick in shade Warm Play. And I have Color Boost Vinylicious liquid lipstick in shade Nude is the new cute. So I'm going to swatch all of them. I have no idea which my lips are looking dry. They don't feel dry, but they look dry. Let's see. This is this one as oh, they smell nice. This one is more matte. This is going to be matte. Oh, could work with this makeup look. And this one is maybe, maybe, yeah more like a creamy lipstick. Let's go with this matte one. Let's go with the matte lipstick. Interesting applicator, I have to say. So easy to apply. It was very easy to apply and I wanted to, you know, <coughs> Overline, but I didn't do a good job. So let's see if I can find a liner. There you go. Looks much better. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, it feels a little bit st sticky. It feels comfortable, but look how it shows every line on my lips. It shows every line. Don't like that. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Silky Balm on top. And this is in blush. Much better. So guys, this is the final look now. I have so many bobby pins and hairspray in my hair because my frizz is out of control today. And you can see my gray hair, but I'm going to color my hair on Tuesday. So I'm very excited and cut it because it does need some cutting but this is the final look and i let's just talk about all of the products i'm going to wear this through the day and it's actually uh, almost 2 p.m and i have to say that i've been having this foundation on for already two hours so i know because i had to reload the pictures on my computer and it was 12. so i'm going to wear this whole day and i'll Check, do a check-in. So far, let's let's start with the primer. Now, 
this primer looked nice when I applied it, but I do need to try it again with another foundation. It didn't really work with the foundation that I was, with Milani foundation that I tried today, so they don't like, really like each other, especially not that kind of cosmetics, the gel. No, no, no. I was kind of not really sure that this is also going to work because I felt like this was more oily foundation, but it says it's oil control, but it felt very oily. This is more like water primer, so I thought it wouldn't, wouldn't work, but it did work, so I'm happy with that. But I need to try this again. Let's go with the um, foundation. Oh my, it looks so good on my skin. I have that nice, healthy glow. Uh, I'm kind of scared to try it in the mornings when I go to work because I need to experiment and see what primers this is going to work with because I do have primers that I need, use to mattify my skin to make it more, look more pore, like smooth. I'm not really sure this is going to work with those products but I am going to experiment with this and I'll let you know in a month or two how this actually worked. So, so far so good. I mean I love how it looks on my skin right now. It looks amazing. It's wonderful. Okay, the next thing we tried, uh, this hairband, it's beautiful, but I need to stretch it more because this thing is, was sitting very hard on my head and it kind of hurts, this big bump, but it's beautiful and it, often my hairbands do that, hurt a little bit, but I need to wear them often and kind of make them more loose, but it's beautiful, love it. And uh, let's see more. What, uh, hmm. This bronzer, it had the same te texture as the uh, makeup, uh, makeup makeups blush. This is my holy grail. I already talked about this so many uh, times on my channel. Love this, and this had the same texture. It was the same wet powder feeling. It also was um, powdery. They looked very identical. The formula looked identical in both bronzer and the blush. So I was, uh, after swatching it, the color was terrible. It's too red or too orange. So I don't like the color. It looks more to be a, like a blush. Uh, I didn't like the color, but I thought it going to be nice because this blush is so easy to blend. It's easy to build up. It's beautiful. Use it every day. I'm obsessed. This doesn't blend. It doesn't blend nice. It looks patchy, it looks, the color is terrible, so I'm not going to keep this one. I'm not going to try it out because the, the, even if the texture was nice, the color was off, so I'm not going to keep it, unfortunately. Don't like it. The other thing I liked, but the color is terrible, it's uh, <laughs> this nude stick. This is the bronzer, a multitasking balm on eye, lips, and face. So I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to use it as a bronzer, no, but I'm going to use it um, for the lips, maybe for something else on the eyes, because the texture, it's very nice. The color is nice, but it's just off. It blends, look, it blends beautifully. Maybe I can use it as a blush or something. I'll definitely keep it because I do like a nude stick. It went on nice. It didn't remove my foundation, which is amazing. It didn't remove my foundation, it blend very nice, but I just couldn't use it as a contour cream product like I thought I would, but I do like it. The highlighter is, mm, I need to check out more shades. Look at this. I like this kind of highlighter. I love a highlighter that's in your eyes. I'm not, I, sometimes I can go with those more natural looking highlighters, but I do like that highlighters from the sky. I love that. So that's me. I still like it. I know some people are not into that right now, but I am still into that uh, look. I do. I do like it, I prefer it, love this one. I need to check out more from this brand, but this is my first time using any products from this brand. Uh, let, went a little bit too crazy with the lipstick. Well, let's continue. That I like. I like the mascara. I really like the mascara. I think the packaging looks lo lo very nice. I think the formula is nice. I like the brush. It's more like that everyday everyday um, mascara kind of reminds me of Tarte mascara but I do like it I'll see if it's going to smudge or if it's going to flake because 
on my lower lash line it looks amazing amazing now i have falsies of course you can't see it on my uh, upper lashes but on my lower lashes looks amazing so i continue to use it and see i'm going to wear this whole day and kind of curious to see how it's going to see look after whole day wear mm. this beauty mm, i love this beauty i love this beauty i think this is just a beautiful palette beautiful beautiful palette uh, you'll get some fallout on the face of course but some beautiful shades and camera doesn't give them the credit they, this is worth i need to make a look make a make i need to do a makeup look with this shade can you see that <laughs> and this one too okay can you see can you just look at this I need to do that. I need to do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to continue use it. Going to play with it. I've been using it for a couple of days. Love it. So I know they last all day. They look nice. Now maybe it could start smudge because of this eyeshadow primer. Now I've been trying this couple of times. Uh, I did use it today again just to be sure that I have right amount of hours that it works on my eyelids it's that that way i do like to do my eyeshadow primer reviews i tried them a couple of times i do set them though i do set them so i tried them a couple of times to see uh, not uh, the same week i kind of start to spread it i put down how many hours it uh, was how many hours it worked for me and then i do a review so that's it Lipsticks. This matte, uh, the matte one is nice. It's beautiful. It goes on smooth. It feels nice, though it does show texture on my lips. It shows every texture, and that's not a cute look. So I did went on top with the Huda Beauty lip, the gloss. Maybe I could use this. I don't know why I didn't use this on top, but did I get any lipstick on my teeth? No. Um, but yeah. Uh, they're nice. They're nice. I like this. I'll try this um, This more glossy one too But so far so good. We'll see how long it's going to stay Maybe not less long as it would if I didn't use the gloss on top, but oh my god my lips look terrible but I need to eat something and this blush palette Oh my god God, if you don't have this, you need this. Everybody needs this palette. I did throw away the plastic. I, I don't need that plastic on top in, in here. Beautiful packaging, so smooth, so easy to blend. Beautiful shades for every skin tone. This I could definitely use as a bronzer, maybe. Let's just swatch it and see if I could use it as a bronzer. If it's too red. No, maybe I could use it as a bronzer. It has that satin finish to it. Oh my god, the texture, the formula. Amazing. Amazing. So, but we'll see if it's going to stay on my face with this foundation. I think I touched on every product I've used today. No, this one. I need to experiment more with this lip scrub. My lips did feel moisturizing, but it's not a lip scrub. It's more like a lip balm. More like a lip balm. But that's it. Let's go continue with the day and see at the end of the day how it worked. See you soon. Hi my family, welcome back. Uh, it's actually 8 p.m. and I've been having this makeup on for around, or foundation for around eight hours and I haven't touched up anything. I didn't touch my face. The only thing is that I ate. <laughs> I, was, uh, I did eat a hamburger, so maybe lick my lips a little bit but I haven't done anything else and I look, well you see how I look, very oily. Okay, that could be that I've used this, this primer and it's a very good primer but it doesn't keep my oils in control so I do like to use it sometimes but I don't actually use it when I do want my oils to stay away. <laughs> um, but let's just look if it's if it looks cakey or if 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 it start moving. No. Uh, I did. There is here removed a little bit of the 
foundation, but could be because I was eating a hamburger. My make eye makeup is still on. My under eyes look very dry, and like I said, it has to do that I left on the um, concealer, and it creased. So yeah, the concealer doesn't look good at all. Doesn't look good at all, and I forgot to actually put my primer on the eyes after I was removing the foundation first time. The blush is there, the bronzer I think is there a little bit, the lipstick is gone but the port where I applied the lip pen from Rebecca Stella that's still here. I only applied lip pen around here and that's there but the lipstick is gone. My makeup looks really good. It <laughs> It does look very, very oily, but it didn't break up. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look heavy. It just looks very, very oily. Um, but it hasn't been, uh, you know, it doesn't look like it's breaking up. So let's try to remove the oils and see. Okay. So it does transfer transfer uh, it looks good it looks like I just applied my foundation I do look still a little bit oily but my foundation haven't moved yes here around the nose now when I remove the oil but everything else looks pretty good after eight hours I have to be honest so not bad not bad at all oh my god my other eyes look terrible Let's see if we can use, let's see if I can use a brush and just that the highlighter though, look at that shine. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with that highlighter. Let's see. Yeah. It looks, it looks wonderful. I mean, I really like this foundation. Uh, eyeshadow palette, wonderful. The blush palette, the blush is still there. I don't know if you can see, I look a little bit pink, uh, but the blush is so beautiful. Love the blush. Like I said, the lipstick is nice, the, hi nice, the highlighter is amazing, the foundation is really good. I need to try out the primer a little bit, a little bit more, the face primer. I need to give it a chance again with another foundation and see if that will work better but it, it looked like it's it's not a nice product it just didn't really go with this foundation but that was everything guys that was everything i hope you like this video let me know down below if you tried any of these products or you're curious to try them let me know what do you think about this makeup look thank you so much for watching and i see my next video i love you all bye